Long before his presidency, years before he even announced, Donald Trump cut his teeth as a public bully on Twitter, largely by repeatedly harassing Rosie. He honed his craft, and now seven years and 70 tweets later, Trump has taken that brand of antagonism and misogyny worldwide. Just this week, Trump, the president of the United States, called the woman he allegedly cheated on the first lady with horse face. And to make matters worse, new reporting suggests that wasn't a spur-of-the-moment decision. The Daily Beast reports, quote, Privately, the president not only thought that it was strategically smart to go after the adult film star Stormy Daniels in such a visceral way, he workshopped the insult prior to tweeting it. Well before Trump mocked Daniels' physical appearance, he trial ballooned the horse face dig privately among White House aides, close friends and acquaintances. One source close to Trump even recalled him saying in passing, that bleeping horse face. Steve, Rosie, and Eugene are still here. I read these things and I'm shocked, but I'm guessing you are not. I'm not shocked. No, he'll do anything and everything to get what he wants. And women are of no value to him in his life or world. The only one who is, I think, is his daughter. That's it. The rest of the women in the world are useless as the immigrants that he says are coming from, you know, uh, Honduras to take us in caravans. Watch out for the caravan. There are people walking away from certain death in third world countries, right? This, the, the, the man doesn't care at all. So what he did to Stormy Daniels was horrific. What he did to me was horrific. But I expected when that was happening, the National Organization of Women or something would come out and say, you can't do this. You're not just allowed to pick a woman, lie, and, mm -hmm. and you know, just debase her with impunity. But he is. Mm -hmm. He is, and he gets laughs for it. And it's, it's like a bad stand-up comic. I, I want to ask you, because this question goes around around questions of race. Mm -hmm. We talked about this after Charlottesville, that, that now the KKK, you've talked about this, the KKK members don't wear sheets mm -hmm. over their face. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that hit, the Trump effect is that people are out of the closet with their misogyny. They're out of the closet with their racism. Do, do you see that? I mean, I see that as potentially the most corrosive impact. Yes, I think it's really true. I was in the street the other day, and some guy saw me with my new haircut and goes, Hey, you, you look like a dyke. I was he, like, w to my he, face, he is, right? I he thought is. the same thing, the coarsening of the right. culture. Yeah. In, in my whole career as like a You miss woman, when people trashed you behind your back, you know, well, no right? Would, I mean, nobody <laughs> would ever come up to you and say something to your face, yeah, right? right? But the culture now no, is exactly. such that it's, this is what's happening. He's de he has degraded the culture more impactfully, more quickly than any person in the history of this country. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Bar none. Yeah. Yeah. And you think about sitting in the Oval Office, uh, office that Winston Churchill and Franklin Roosevelt would meet in, planning the fall of Nazism and victory for World War II, mm -hmm. or Barack Obama meditating before <laughs> the raid on bin Laden, or Ronald Reagan, or John Kennedy during the missile crisis. And you mm -hmm. think about these people yeah. sitting around plotting how to insult Stormy Daniels. It yeah. may be the single greatest refutation to the theory of evolution in the history of the world. And it, it, it is Just amazing, incredible. it is amazing the power. Just incredible. This is a, this is a, a, a terrible, awesome, in the original um, uh, meaning of the word, demonstration of the power of the president yeah. to give people that sort of permission to mm -hmm. to 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 sort of shred the veneer of, uh, of politeness yes. and decency mm -hmm. and respect that that we had and that we need in order to get along it's uh, it, and the president know, must have for the for the culture to look up to well, for it, the constituents it's a, for it's children called, like to civilization dream of. is yes. what it's called and, and now we have this an uncivilized man and this is a, this is essential for democrats to understand i think there is a difference between toughness which they surely need, and meanness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Toughness yes. and meanness yeah. are not the same thing. They need a tough-as-nail candidate who will stand for what's right and what's good and what's decent. They don't need somebody to add to the cruelty and to the vileness, and there's a reason for it. They want to run a dishonesty campaign against Donald Trump. Uh, they lose because no one beats Donald Trump in a dishonesty. Dishonest. Yeah. Right. So right. They want to run a vileness campaign against Donald Trump. Right. Guess right. what? They lose again right. because it's not possibly more vile than this let guy. Me, let me ask you about that because in the Democratic Party, there's there's a, a faux debate going on that Eric Holder said, when they go low, you kick him. Michelle Obama said, when they go low, we go high. I think the problem isn't that they have two different views on that. It's that Democrats think they have to resolve it. Why can't you have both candidates in the Democratic Party? Why can't you 
have fighters and stateswomen. I mean, yes. why are the Democrats, I mean, this is where I think Democrats go wrong. They're mm -hmm. trying to play by the old rules yes. where you have to, I mean, when we ran campaigns, um, you had to, mm -hmm. you had, you lived and died by the fact checker. And if the politi <laughs> political <laughs> fact checker put there a hex on your ad, we were screwed. And so we made sure our ads would hold up. And if they were on the line, people like Steve and I would go to the ad people and say, take that image out, it won't hold up. Those rules are gone. And and part of the problem with mm -hmm. Democrats seems to be they're playing, they're, they're, they're playing by the old rules. Yeah. Well, they, they're playing by the old rules, but what, what you said earlier about, you know, 435 House races. There are, you know, there are all these Senate races, and they're different. There is not, this is not a presidential year. It's not a year when you have, have to have one person dominating the party, and right. that that specific message in all its particulars is the message of and, the party that happens in presidential years that doesn't happen in midterm years right. so you know go run in your district no one has state. had to deal with this before this right. is new to the whole entire world and, or, or cover it either yes right. and, and how are we going to recover that's what i keep thinking of when he's finally out you know at the end of september when those indictments drop and when justice is finally served how are we going to heal this nation how is it even going to be possible to do that I like your optimism when justice is served. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.